how to take apart the electronics and this um, saber. So I wanted to uh, remove the contents of the uh, saber and probably I'm going to put it inside this. This is a drain um, from the sink, some plumbing uh, thingy. So all I'm going to do is going to, yeah, so I, I cut it into this. So probably I'm going to put this inside here. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. So, hope it works. And, yeah, I'm going to 3D print some parts where I can just insert these. Like so. So, yeah, I'll be uh, creating that in the future. So, I'll solely rely on the tools that they included here. So, they have the grip tape. And I didn't use one of them. So, they have some extra... Uh, grub screws so yeah, I'm just gonna keep them here so I'm gonna use the tool that they included I don't know if it fits but yeah hopefully Let's throw this away otherwise I'll, I'm gonna have to okay so it fits on the uh, the screws here so let's see yep also in the grub screws okay so the 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 top portion actually you can remove this this is screwed on so you can just unscrew it you can just leave the blade okay yeah this one came off last time you can just uh, keep the blade here although you can remove it from the two grub screws here so we're not gonna need the blade for now so okay let's see Okay, so let's start. This is the lens. Actually, the one from my daughter is stuck there. I don't know, mine came off. So I was hoping it would be easier. So let's just slowly unscrew them. And also from the bottom. Okay, that helps. Okay, so this one you need to be careful because the, the wires can get twisted and can break inside. So, so if you can see, the uh, the speakers is actually speakers help with this uh, O ring. You can just take out, and later on we're gonna. There's a phone holding the uh, the battery down. So there's a battery. And there's a foam on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew these and this one and uh, by right this should be released forward. So okay, here goes. So let me just undo that. One good screw. Just get rid of this one. Okay. And that's out. Oh, that one is for the light. LED. And yeah, now it's loose. So I'm gonna remove the switches. need to be careful there's no way to completely like, remove the power from it for now that means if you push the button there it could turn on so yeah two screws removed yeah okay now it's loose and you can just push it like so and push it all the way back okay so just 
push it like that. And here we go. Okay, the battery's out. I believe that the, the current one that they have. Okay. Alright. So. There you have it. Uh, you can just screw it in. Uh, probably in, inside one of these. So. Just. Screw that one in. You can put that in. I'm gonna print uh, one more on the uh, lining here so I can attach the blade because currently it's just it's just nice it's around about the same size so yeah so I'm gonna print something like this that attaches inside where I can put the screw on so it would look like that and then this one goes in followed by this and the battery so probably I'll print something that it can use to slide this on there so that it would be easier for me to put in and and this so I'm gonna print the fins so yeah that's it so my next task is put it inside and uh, yeah it's pretty easy to, to put it back on uh, probably just some guide to uh, insert it once I put one screw there uh, everything should be good so yeah there you have it so you can basically put this in uh, any uh, saber that you want as they have I've seen in the website that they have a different version of this that comes with plastic so it's easier to insert in and out of these hilts uh, the battery has a battery holder not like this where it's just soldered so no wonder it's so cheap so yeah let me take out the speaker so that everything will be out so it's a small speaker. Okay, there's some O-ring that's uh, holding it inside there. So yeah, I must remember how it's actually placed. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Speaker. And let me try and turn it on. I'm just quite curious how, how it would work. So uh, this is a new platform for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. Let me put the lens. Does it make a difference? It's the same. Yeah, so probably if you have like better speakers, you can replace it. It's easy. So. Got the heat sink there. Pretty good. Not bad. Okay, so let's try to put it back inside. There's a trick in doing this. See the battery, three point seven thousand two hundred. So I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. 
Okay. So we just aligned it and try to catch it with a screw and yep there you go screw got it so next one be So the tools that came with it was enough to disassemble the entire thing. So yeah, not too tight. You just need to just keep it in place. So you're not gonna be pushing it all the way to the other side. So just nice. It's, um, so everything looks good. Yep. Push the uh, the battery a bit down there, and let's set this. And remember the uh, O-ring inside to dampen the any vibrations, so it will not sound like weird. But it's making some sound, so we're just gonna be pushing this in. So now, it's completely inside, and usually what I do is uh, I, I estimate and how many turns this one goes in, so it will not be too curled up. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is going to curl it like this, before I, oh, almost a guy. So when I curl it, it will become really straight.
Hello guys, if uh, you're new to the channel, just uh, like and subscribe. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is I'm actually buying cheap stuff from China and see how it works, see if it's good enough and see if the seller is trustworthy. So if you like um, the content and if you like me doing more stuff, uh, please do like and uh, subscribe and share it to your friends. Maybe they're also interested. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.